Miss Thomas, I take into account the loss of your father and the fact that you're from a good home with a lot of support. I'm aware that a custodial sentence could affect any future career. You're remorseful, and I'm confident that the likelihood of your reoffending is minimal. I therefore sentence you to a youth referral order of four months' duration. Community service results. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Miss Flaherty, I've taken into account the difficult time you must have had following the death of your father in prison. However, your actions could have cost Mrs. Dingle her life. I've seen little, if any, remorse, and I fear for your future if you do not learn from this. I'm therefore sentencing you to four months' detention and training order. What? You can't do that! In the hope that you will benefit from some time of focused reflection on your actions. Thank you, officer. But you let her off and she's the one who caused all this! Order! I'm sure you would not wish to join your sister in the cells. Liv, I'm so sorry. Look at me. Look at me. I'm going to sort this out, right? I promise you. Unbelievable. Gabby got community service. And Liv? How long? Four months. Oh, alas. It was always a possibility, I'm afraid. The fuck was a good you were? You should have let me go in there and say my piece. I doubt it would have made much difference. What are you talking about? We paid you to make a difference. It was your job to keep Liv out of prison. You hadn't read the case properly. You couldn't even remember her name. You just rocked up and phoned it in, didn't you? You should be struck off, you. You're a lazy, arrogant waste of space. Can't we complain or something? Yeah, we'll be appealing the sentencing. With what, Robert? We're broke. Liv trusted you. How could you do this to her? I never wanted her to get put away. Well, what did you think was going to happen? Look, I get that you're upset. We all are, but Lisa has been ill. <sighs> yeah, yeah, of course. Let's not upset Lisa. Seeing your partner. She'd been better off defending herself. She was doing fine. She was holding it together just about, and then he mentioned Gordon, and she flipped. Well, what did you do that for? You know, if we'd have had Louise... He's let us down so badly. Where do you get off blaming it all on him? Liv wouldn't have even been in court if it wasn't for you. This is down to you. This is all on you. I'll bring the van round. Vinny's texting me. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, it could have been so much worse. Yeah, we're still faced with the humiliation of seeing you paraded around in a high-vis best litter picking. I don't know how I'm going to hold my head up. You're unreal. This is going to kill him, and all you're bothered about is saving face. Hey, what? Look, Aaron, I'm so sorry. How can they not live up and not you? Right, let's get you home. Come on. Yeah, that's right. You all go home, because Liv can't, can't she? So I hope you're all happy. Just look at me. Calm down, all right? Because if you don't, you can end up joining her, and that's the last thing she needs right now.